January 6th, a judge denied bond for the Lake Worth man now charged with murdering his wife in a domestic dispute. That shooting is one of several recent domestic attacks that left two local women dead. Another victim was held prisoner in her own home for nearly two weeks. Today, our Sonica Dange sat down with a local counselor who deals a lot with domestic violence. And even she says this recent string of attacks is alarming. Tonight, she's sharing an important message, not just for victims of domestic abuse, but warning signs their loved ones should be looking for. Just in the past week, we've seen a surge of cases linked to domestic violence. Some of them turned deadly, and that's why we came here to get some answers from experts. The main problem in terms of domestic violence is that victims try to stay quiet. Director of Counseling Claudia Herrera says even she's surprised by the increase in domestic violence cases this week. Over the weekend, Terrell Howard was arrested for hitting a woman with a hammer and holding her hostage for 11 days before she escaped and ran to Good Samaritan Hospital. Monday, Rafael Rosario was arrested for shooting his wife of two months in Green Acres after she told him she was leaving. I'm just shocked. Very, very shocked. That same night, Hugh David Gentinord shot and killed his wife, Chelda Joseph, before calling his brother, admitting to the crime, then taking his life by jumping off the Blue Heron Bridge. Family says Joseph was also planning to leave. I don't think that it's a good idea for the victim to tell the um, uh, perpetrator, I'm, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave the house. Uh, it, it would be better not to say anything, but doing it when that person is not aware. But how do you identify if a loved one is in trouble? In both fatal shootings, police reports indicate warning signs. Rosario's wife could only see her family by appointment. She had appointments with her mother and sister the day police say her husband admitted to shooting her. It's not, hi, how are you? But by telling me why you were outside, tell me why this person Person is visiting you. Herrera says if your loved one is showing signs of being in a toxic relationship, offer support and insist on talking. Then plan to leave by utilizing one of two safe space shelters in Palm Beach County and calling the state or your local police department. The shelters offer free cell phones to communicate with family after you leave a perpetrator. For more information, contact the Center for Family Services of Palm Beach County. Sonic Adonge, WPBF 25 News. And here is that number for the Center for Family Services of Palm Beach County. It is on your screen, 561-616-1222. If you'd like to see the story again or share it with a friend or loved one, you can find it on WPBF.com or our WPBF 25 News mobile app.